now time to solve our denominator here we want to take common n so the square root as it is if you take common n that is maximum power that is n so remaining term that is only one plus we want to take a common n so here no any value of n so we divide it n so when this n multiply with 1 upon n the result that is a plus under root of n that is as it is now we want to move n outside that is limit n tends to infinite here under root of n into a divide by if we take common or if we outside the n from square root so here square root of n and here remaining term that is under root of 1 plus a by n this plus sign as it is so n that is outside and this under root of n here as it is now just look at this under root of n and here also under root of n we want to take a common under root of n from both this side so remaining term that is limit n tends to infinite under root of n plus a divided by under root of n that is common from both this side so remaining term that is 1 plus a by n plus no any value so here that is 1 now again we want to more simplify this under root of n and here this under root of n both are cancel out and we want to simplify it so here remaining term that is limit n tends to infinite remaining term that is only a and here under root of 1 plus a by n plus 1 now time to apply the limit and here 1 upon n form so ultimately this becomes 0 so we write limit n tends to infinite the rule that is 1 upon n equal to 0 so we applied the limit and sign must be equal to here a here under root no any value of n so result that is only 1 plus sign as it is here a by n that is nothing but 1 upon n form result that is 0 plus 1 so remaining that is here a here under root of 1 that is 1 plus here 1 as it is so result that is here a and 1 plus 1 that is 2 so our final answer that is a by 2 so we write it our answer that is a by 2 now we move to our next question next question that is limit n tends to infinite sin in bracket under root of n square plus n pi plus 1 minus n so we write it first here limit n tends to infinite sin bracket square root of n square plus n pi plus 1 minus n so we simplify it so here n tends to infinite so and here square root so first of all we use rationalization that is limit n tends to infinite here sign as it is so we use rationalization of this term that is 
स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एन स्क्वेयर प्लस एन पाई प्लस वन माइनस एन मल्टीप्लाई विथ इज रेशनलाइजेशन टर्म दैट इज स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एन स्क्वेयर प्लस एन पाई प्लस वन दिस माइनस साइन इट बिकम्स प्लस एन एन डिवाइड बाय सेम टर्म मल्टीप्लाई सेम टर्म यू वांट टू डिवाइड दैट इज स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एन स्क्वेयर प्लस एन पाई प्लस वन प्लस एन नाउ अगेन सेम वे here we take here call a this is called b that is a minus b this is called again a this is called plus and b then the result that is a square minus b square so we simplify using this rule so limit n tends to infinite this sign as it is n a square that is square root of n square plus n pi plus 1 square minus b square that is n square so we simplify this term and put this term as it is that is square root of n square plus n pi plus 1 and here plus n now you want to simplify this square root and this square so finally both are cancel out so we simplify this term that is limit n tends to infinite here sign here n square plus n pi plus 1 here minus n square as it is and divide by here square root of n square plus n pi plus 1 and plus n now we more simplify this term that is here plus n square and here minus n square so ultimately both are cancel out now we write it limit n tends to infinite here sign here n pi plus 1 divide by here maximum power of n that is n square so we required to take a common n square here that is square root here n square that is common so here n square no any value remaining so here 1 plus here n pi and we want to take a common n square so we divide by n that is pi by n here plus here no any value so we divide 1 upon n square so when this n square divide with 1 upon n square the result that is 1 plus n as it is now we again more simplify here limit n tends to infinite this sign n pi plus 1 divide by this n square we want to take from outside of the square root so result that is n and the remaining term that is 1 plus pi by n plus 1 upon n square 
and next term that is n plus n now again we want to take a common n from this both the term and the remaining term that becomes limit n tends to infinite here sign here n that is numerator maximum power of n that is only n so we require to take a common n so here n if you take a common n then here remaining term that is pi plus here no any value of n so we divide it so divide by n and we want to take a common n from both this term so here n is this square root here 1 plus pi by n plus 1 upon n square plus here take a common n so only remaining term that is 1 now just simplify this term here n and here n so finally this n and this n cancel out now time to replace the limit to this sum and the rule here n tends to infinite and when 1 upon n form the result that is 0 so here n tends to infinite we applied the limit so here sign is equal to in bracket this pi as it is plus here 1 upon n form so 1 upon n equal to here 0 you apply n tends to infinite here so here this square root as it is here 1 plus here pi by n but 1 upon n equal to 0 plus apply the limit here 1 upon n square but result that is 0 plus sign as it is and this one as it is now we again more simplify this term that is equal to sine pi plus 0 that is pi and under root of only remaining term that is 1 so 1 this plus 1 as it is equal to now again simplify that is sine pi divided by 1 plus 1 that is 2 and all of you know sin pi by 2 the result that is 1 so this is our last sum and we write it answer that is 1 so up to now we have discussed some of the importance problem of the limit that is 1 upon n form and 1 upon n form limit n tends to infinite the result that is 0 Thank you.